Could the tension between Iran and Israel be the prelude to a new chapter in Middle Eastern geopolitics? Strap in as we delve into the chronology of recent events that have stirred this brewing storm. In the wake of Israeli airstrikes in Syria, the world saw the demise of several senior Iranian officials. This incident sparked a wave of outrage from Iran, which claimed the building destroyed was of consular significance, thus rendering the attack a direct affront to Iran itself. The Biden administration now finds itself tangled in this web of escalating tensions, voicing concerns that Iran may be planning retaliatory strikes on targets within Israel. The US intelligence community has warned of the potential for an attack using a drone swarm or land attack cruise missiles, and suggested that Iran could target an Israeli diplomatic or consular facility in retaliation for the strike in Damascus. The speculation is that Iran is likely to respond before the end of Ramadan next week. Meanwhile, a ripple effect of this tension has been felt thousands of miles away in India. On April 5th, Israel's embassy in New Delhi and its consulate in Mumbai shuttered their operations, citing security reasons. This move comes as threats from Iran loom large following the assassination in Damascus. This closure is part of a larger directive issued to Israeli embassies worldwide, with some countries perceived to be more vulnerable than others. The fears of Israeli diplomats are manifold, spanning from attacks on embassy compounds and diplomats to assaults on Israeli children attending international schools. In summary, the current tension between Iran and Israel is a chess game of power dynamics, retaliation and fear. The implications of this could be far-reaching, affecting not just the two nations involved, but also creating ripples across the international diplomatic community. As we watch this situation unfold, one thing is clear. The actions of these nations in the coming weeks could set a new precedent for international relations in the Middle East. As always, the world watches and waits.